Well, hi, gang. Hey, uh, we're back here for part number two of bridge building. I want to show you how to set up your draft uh, for designing your bridge. Your bridge will not, you're not only drafting your bridge so you know what you want it to look like, your draft will actually become the template. So we will cover your draft with some wax paper, and we will build your bridges. We'll lay the little pieces right on top of your draft and glue it all up. And so it's important that your draft is truly exactly what you want to build, uh, because if it's not, you're going to end up with something that doesn't match uh, your draft. Okay. So what I've got here is, uh, you might notice, this is a really large piece of paper. This is not a standard uh, piece of printer paper. This is the big paper I gave you. It is 17 this way. It is nine, uh, 11 this way. So it's twice as big as a piece of printer paper. Uh, and we need that big piece of paper to hold your bridge. Let me walk you through a couple things that I had to do here. So as always, I have my half inch border that goes all the way around the paper. And you'll notice my paper is bigger than my T-square, so you gotta cheat a little bit. Uh, I won't tell anybody if you don't. So we gotta get a half inch border all the way around the paper. Then I came up and I did a half inch nameplate with my name, date, period, and the assignment in it. And then we're just gonna call this bridge design uh, for the assignment name, okay? Once I had that, we do not need to put a lucky L on here. I came right from my nameplate and I went up two inches and I drew this block and this block. And the only thing magical about this block is that they're two inches tall, and then I came over two inches, and that's how I drew this one, and then I measured out exactly 10. And the reason I measured out exactly 10 is that this is a piece of wood that I have cut to fit in our bridge tester. So all you're looking at is a board that I've squeezed in there, but I wrote the measurements on it, and you will see at the very top there, it says your bridge needs to be between 11 and 12 inches long, but if you look at that bottom measurement, it says nine and three fourths to ten and a quarter. The two platforms that your bridge is going to sit on is somewhere between nine and three quarter uh, at its smallest and ten and a quarter at its largest. We can slide those a little bit. Uh, that's a half inch. We can adjust those to fit your particular bridge. Okay, so we have a little bit of play, but not very much. So what I've done is I've set up a draft that has exactly ten inches in between them. That way, if it's a little shorter. Uh, between the po between here, that's fine. If it's a little longer, it's fine, okay? So draw these two blocks in for me. Take just a minute and draw them. They go up two, and then I measured over two this way, and then I went over exactly 10 inches and drew the other block, okay? Now, this block is obviously bigger than this one. If you want to get really fancy and do some math and perfectly center them, that's fine. That would be fine. You don't need to. Uh, I just want to make sure that you have the two blocks and you have 10 inches between them. Okay? So take a minute and get that done. Okay. So I'm going to assume you pause the video and you have these, the board of the nameplate and these two blocks. Okay? From that point, on the top corner of this block, I measured down a half inch and I drew a line across. Now, you don't have to put this on yours. I did that so you can see your bridge is gonna fit inside this box. So this pink line represents the bottom of that block of wood. If you notice, that block of wood got notched around the two platforms and hangs down into the valley about a half inch. You don't have to do that. But every year, there's a couple of kids that when we build bridges say, hey, can we have it go down and push on the sides of the platforms? And the answer is yes, but we only allow it to drop down there a half inch. So what I've done here is I put a line at a half inch with a pink pen so that as I draft, I know not to cross that boundary. If I do, my bridge will not be within spec and that's not gonna be any good, okay? The second thing I did is I measured up here and put another pink line that is exactly three inches above the platforms because it says right here, max three inch bridge height. That means your bridge cannot go any taller than three inches from the platforms to the top of the bridge. So I measured up exactly three inches. I'm gonna stay a little bit short of that at least to make sure uh, I don't get just a little too long and my bridge doesn't fit in the bridge crusher. That would be a tragedy if we couldn't even get your bridge to physically fit inside the space that we need to to crush it. Okay. Next thing, notice it says uh, 10 or it says 11 to 12 inches long. That's how long your bridge is going to be total. So what I've done is I've marked out again so that I don't go outside my boundaries. I came in here and I measured out 
the maximum, which is 12, in, uh, is 12 inches. So I measured back one inch here, one inch here, and drew two of those green lines. And again, this is so that you understand your bridge has to fit inside that space. So I went back here and here. That means if I made a bridge that came all the way to this green line and all the way to this green line, they may not appear green on your camera, but I did draw them in with a with a uh, marker. If they come all the way to those two green lines, we are at the very maximum your bridge can be, which is 12 inches. You'll also notice I put a little mark here and a little mark here, and that's telling us the very minimum your bridge can be, which is 11 inches. Now, I, I probably should write that somewhere for you, uh, but the idea is you want at least a half inch of material sitting up on each platform, so when we crush it, if your bridge deflects and starts to bow, it doesn't pop through the opening, okay? So we need to come back at least a half inch, maximum of one inch uh, total. So a half inch on each side or an inch total, okay? All right, so let's talk a little bit about what we're going to do now. It is time to actually start drawing our bridge inside those parameters, okay? Inside these lines is where our bridge is going to go. This is where you have to grab your design, your ideas from the research that you did. I gave you time to research. Make sure you apply what you've learned to actually draft your bridge, okay? And again, remember, your bridge is going to be the template that we use to build your draft or build your draw your bridge. So make sure it is exactly what you want. Okay. All right. We'll see you back here on the next one. Thanks for watching.